you've made it to the third trimester, you're done. You're finished, you're ready to be done with pregnancy and have your baby safely in your arm. I'm here to help you get ready to know what to do to get your body into labour. Stick around because in this video we are going to cover what types of activities might bring on labour, positions you can use to help get your baby in the best position for birth and what else you can eat and do to bring on labour. I should pre preface this by saying there is no definite thing that is going to help your body to start in labour apart from an induction of labour and I've got a separate video. Make sure you check out the rest of my channel if you're thinking about having an induction of labour as I've got a full step-by-step -step tutorial for you. But if you want to try and avoid an induction of labour, this is the video you should be watching. Ideally, we'd like your baby to be born somewhere between 37 weeks of pregnancy and 42 weeks, anywhere in that window. Now, it feels like a really long time if you're waiting for it to happen. So what are the practical things that you can do to get things going? Number one, the most important thing, stay active. I say it in every video most likely, but what you want to be doing when you're in that final push of pregnancy, when you're ready to just lie down on the sofa until the baby decides to make its appearance, is actually get moving. And not just any kind of movement. Ideally, if you can use something that involves gravity, that's going to help to push your baby's head down onto the cervix and get baby moving. So use hills, if you live near any hills, walking up and down the hills more importantly, up and down the steps a couple of times a day and that's actually really going to help to get your baby into a good position for birth and also hopefully shorten the time before labour gets started for you. Number two, think about baby's position. In order for labour to start, you want your baby to be in the optimal position so that that gets all the hormones pumping. The best position for your baby is for your baby's back to be at the front of your bump, the back to bump position. In order to encourage this, be mindful of the way that you're sitting, walking and exercising and even sleeping. Where possible, where we all want to kind of lie, slouch back in the chair, that's not the best position for baby in labour. When you're sitting on the sofa watching TV, try to sit up and in a forward position. It can help actually to sit on a birthing ball so that when you're watching telly, you're sat upright or even leaning forward and that will encourage your baby into that back to bump position. When you're sleeping at night, ideally sleep on your left side and use a pregnancy pillow to help you. That actually helps the baby's back to swing round to, it, to the front, so again it's in the back to bump position, by sleeping on your left hand side. Three, perineal massage. I really recommend perineal massage as a fantastic way that has evidence as well, it's evidence-based method to reduce the risk of tearing or even needing an episiotomy at the end of birth. So perineal massage is where you stretch the skin at the entrance of the vagina. As the vagina, the part that you want to be stretching is this lower aspect because this is where you're most likely to tear. And what we try to avoid is tears that extends towards the back passage. Tears that extends towards the anus can have complications. So if you are able to gently stretch that area on a regular basis in these weeks leading up to birth, you can actually reduce the chance of that happening. Next tip is to think about eating dates. Date fruit has actually been shown in some relatively small trials that eating six dates a day in the run up to labour can make labour happen sooner and also be shorter when it does get going. Now, the evidence isn't really strong, but unless you've got a condition like diabetes, what's the harm in buying a packet of dates and eating them regularly until until baby's born? But equally, if you hate them, um, if you can't really stand the thought of this, I wouldn't stress too much because there's not a lot of evidence behind it. Finally, sex. Sex with your partner has been suggested as something that can bring on natural labour and help labour to get started sooner. It can be difficult to find a comfortable position and your partner might find the idea a bit strange but rest assured that sex in late pregnancy is totally safe and has a potential benefit of maybe bringing, bringing on labour. Don't try this if you've already been told that you have a low lying placenta or if your waters have broken or there's any other risk of infection but otherwise go for it, why not? Medical sweeps might be offered to you by your midwife and I'd highly recommend you take them up if they're offered but weighing up the pros and cons of a cervical sweep are outside of the scope of this video so I'll make another video to cover this in more detail. You may have heard of some other things that can help to get labour going. I would steer clear of any of the old wives tales but if you want to you could try curry or raspberry leaf tea. There's not a lot of evidence behind them but why not give it a go if you're desperate to get labour started. The other thing you should be doing at this stage of pregnancy, if you haven't already done it, is packing your labour bag. The top tip when it comes to packing that hospital bag is pack in categories. This bag has one side for the mum, the birthing person, and the other side for the baby. You can do it however you want, but use clear labelled plastic bags that are organised in categories so it's easy to find what you need because the chances are it's not the person packing the bag who's going to be looking for something during labour. Keep a separate bag aside for baby's first outfit because they may grab that separately. So if you've got any other questions, let me know below. So don't forget to check out the rest of this 
free antenatal class series by subscribing to my channel and checking out the rest of the series on there.